Clouded Leopard is one of the most talented climbers among the cats. Captive clouded leopards have been observed to climb down vertical tree trunks head first, and hang on to branches with their hind paws bent around branchings of tree limbs. Their partly nocturnal and far-ranging behavior, their low densities, and because they inhabit densely vegetated habitats and remote areas makes the counting and monitoring of clouded leopards extremely difficult. Snow leopards are crepuscular, being most active at dawn and dusk. They are known for being extremely secretive and well camouflaged. It is a carnivore and actively hunts its prey. It is an opportunistic hunter and also eats carrion. Its attacks on humans are rare, only two instances are known. The snow leopard cannot roar, despite possessing partial ossification of the hyoid bone. Compared to other wild cats, the leopard has relatively short legs and a long body with a large skull. It is similar in appearance to the jaguar, but generally has a smaller, lighter physique. Contemporary records suggest that the leopard occurs in only 25% of its historical global range. They are hunted illegally, and their body parts are smuggled in the wildlife trade for medicinal practices and decoration. It is able to take large prey due to its massive skull and powerful jaw muscles, and is therefore strong enough to drag carcasses heavier than itself up into trees. The jaguar enjoys swimming, largely a solitary and stalk and ambush predator at the top of the food chain. As a keystone species it plays an important role in stabilizing ecosystems and regulating prey populations. It is thought to have diverged from a common ancestor of the Panthera at least 1.5 million years ago and to have entered the American continent in the early Pleistocene via Beringia. It is the largest cat native to the Americas and the third largest in the world. The American lions were about 25% larger than the modern lion and inhabited savannas and grasslands like them. They probably used caves for shelter from the cold weather in those areas and may have lined their dens with grass or leaves. The remains of American lions are not as abundant as those of other predators like Smilodon. Cave lion inhabited open environment like mammoth steppe and boreal forest. Phylogenetic analysis of fossil bone samples revealed that it was highly distinct and genetically isolated from the modern lion occurring in Africa and Asia. It was most likely a solitary hunter. Male lions have a prominent mane, which is the most recognizable feature of the species. A lion pride consists of a few adult males, related females and cubs. Groups of female lions typically hunt together, preying mostly on large ungulates. It is the most diurnal big cat. The species is an apex and keystone predator, although they scavenge when opportunities occur. Some lions have been known to hunt humans, although the species typically does not. They have been kept in menageries since the time of the Roman Empire and have been a key species sought for exhibition in zoological gardens across the world since the late 18th century. Lion populations are untenable outside designated protected areas. Although the cause of the decline is not fully understood, habitat loss and conflicts with humans are the greatest causes for concern. Asiatic lions are genetically less diverse than lions in Africa, which may be the result of a founder effect in the recent history of the remnant population in the Gur forest. It is endangered because of its small size and area of occupancy. In May 2015 the lion population was estimated at 523 individuals. In Bali, the last Bali tigers were recorded in the late 1930s. 
This population was hunted to extirpation and its natural habitat converted for human use. Palm plantations and irrigated rice fields were established foremost on volcanic slopes. Tiger hunting started after the Dutch gained control over Bali. The basic social unit of the tiger is the elemental one of female and her offspring. Adult animals congregate only temporarily when special conditions permit, such as plenty supply of food. Otherwise they lead solitary lives, hunting individually for the forest and grassland animals. The tiger is estimated to be present in the Indian subcontinent since the late Pleistocene. The Indian subcontinent has served as a stage for intense human and tiger confrontations. Historically, the Siberian tiger was considered to be the largest tiger, when all sizes of prey are abundant, Siberian tigers prefer to target smaller prey. Results of genetic analysis of 95 wild Siberian tiger samples from Russia revealed that genetic diversity is low, only 35 individuals contributed to their genes. Poaching of tigers and their wild prey species is considered to be driving the decline. In 2015, there was a total population of 562 wild Siberian tigers in Russia. Typically nocturnal, the caracal is highly secretive and difficult to observe. It is territorial, and lives mainly alone or in pairs. It has been tamed and used for hunting since the time of ancient Egypt. The conspicuous ear tufts and the facial markings often serve as a method of visual communication. Caracals have been observed interacting with each other by moving the head from side to side so that the tufts flicker rapidly. The serval is similar to the sympatric caracal, but has a narrower spoor, a rounder skull and lacks its prominent ear tufts. The closely set ears are black on the back with a horizontal white band, the ears can rotate up to 180 degrees independently of each other. The serval has a good sense of smell, hearing and vision. It is vulnerable to hyenas and wild dogs. It will seek cover to escape their view, and, if the predator is very close, The ocelot's fur is extensively marked with solid black markings on a creamy yellowish background color. Naturalists comment it as one of the most difficult members of the feline family to describe. Data from camera trapping studies confirm that several ocelot individuals deposit scat in one or several communal sites, called latrines, suggesting that these sites have a social function. The destruction of habitat is the main threat to ocelot survival. The Canada lynx is an efficient climber, and will dodge predators by climbing high up on trees, however, they hunt only on land. Like other cats, it scent mark their ranges by spraying urine and depositing feces on snow or tree stumps and other prominent sites in and around their range. This lynx is a specialist predator, eating snowshoe hair almost exclusively when they are available. The population variation of the lynx and the hare is an example of a predator-prey cycle. Eurasian lynx are secretive, and because the sounds they make are very quiet and seldom heard, their presence in an area may go unnoticed for years. Remnants of prey or tracks on snow are usually observed long before the animal is seen. It inhabits rugged forested country providing plenty of hideouts and stalking opportunities. Wolves kill and eat lynxes that fail to escape into trees. Lynx populations decrease when wolves appear in a region and are likely to take smaller prey where wolves are active. The cougar is an ambush predator that pursues a wide variety of prey. Primary food sources are ungulates, particularly deer. It also hunts species as small as insects and rodents. This cat prefers habitats with dense underbrush and rocky areas for stalking, but can also live in open areas. It has the largest range of any wild land animal in the Americas. Intensive hunting following European colonization of the Americas and the ongoing human development of cougar habitat has caused populations to drop in most parts of its historical range. American cheetah was originally believed to be an early cougar representative, before being reclassified in the 1970s as a close relative of the cheetah. 
This suggested that the ancestors of the cheetah diverged from the puma lineage in the Americas and migrated back to the Old World. Cheetahs are diurnal, allows better observation and monitoring of the animal. Hunting is the major activity throughout the day. Owing to its long legs it can run at a speed of 64 km per hour while hunting, accelerating up to 112 km per hour on short distances of 100 meters, it is therefore the fastest land animal. The large nasal passages ensure fast flow of sufficient air, and the enlarged heart and lungs allow the enrichment of blood with oxygen in a short time. This allows cheetahs to rapidly regain their stamina after a chase. Because of its prowess at hunting, the cheetah has been tamed already in the 16th century BC in Egypt and used to kill game at hunts. Archaeological evidence indicates that the leopard cat was the first cat species domesticated in Neolithic China about 5,000 years ago. However, keeping a leopard cat as a pet may require a license in some localities as it is considered to be a wild species. They can swim, but seldom do so. They produce a similar range of vocalizations to the domestic cat. Palaces cats spend the day in caves, rock crevices, or marmot burrows, and emerge in the late afternoon to begin hunting. They are not fast runners, and hunt primarily by ambush or stalking, using low vegetation and rocky terrain for cover. The face is shortened compared with other cats, giving it a flattened look. Unlike most other cats, black-footed cats are poor climbers, and will generally ignore tree branches. Their stocky bodies and short tails are not conducive to tree climbing. They dig vigorously in the sand to extend or modify burrows for shelter. Black-footed cats are highly unsociable animals that seek refuge at the slightest disturbance. When cornered, they are known to defend themselves fiercely. African wildcats were first domesticated about 10,000 years ago in the Near East, and are the ancestors of the domestic cat. The graves are estimated to have been established by Neolithic farmers about 9,500 years ago and are the earliest known evidence for a close association between a human and a cat. Their proximity indicates that the cat may have been tamed or domesticated. <laughs> 